I'm Emma. That's Josh. This is our 50 foot catamaran, and you're watching Sailing Uncut. Hey everyone, so it is actually the afternoon right now and we have today's vlog all filmed and I was just starting to edit it and then realized that the first clip that we filmed, which was our intro, for some reason the file is corrupt and it's not working. So now there's no context to what we're actually doing today. So take two, ready? Good morning everybody. So we are working in the starboard hull today. So if you come with me, I'll show you what we did all day. Do you see that hole? So we're working in the forward starboard hull today and the next clip they're going to show you there was a dodgy repair and we just really wanted to know what was underneath that. So take it away, past Emma. So they cut out this square for a reason so there probably is going to be a repair underneath. So let's cut it and find out. And so when I put it back it's going to be just the same quality as that, yeah? Oh 100%, yeah I love it. Just looks beautiful. No. What I'm sitting on now is actually a buoyancy tank and then also doubles as a bed, which we don't need because there's four queen beds elsewhere in this boat. So what we're wanting to see is if we can actually cut this down and get it all the way down to the flooring, put the buoyancy tank somewhere else, so then we can actually have the proper walk through here for the bathroom. So that's all still unknowns, which is why we're not 100% sure if we can actually convert this to a bathroom. Um, but I guess if we, do the discovery now, then we will know. Where are you going? Sorry, I'm a little bit uncaffeinated yet. So once this is in my system, then it'll be like, woo tools. Uh, save us all. Where did that go? Is it in there? Oh, we need these ones too. Just to be clear, well, Ryobi does not sponsor us. Yet. Come on, Ryobi. I love you. Uh, I'm actually just going to do this. It's going to be way quicker. You need to carry. Uh-oh. Now how are you going to carry your beverage? Do two trips. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Get some safety glasses as well. Where are you going? Stop it! <laughs> We got work to do. <laughs> Found the safety glasses. Uh, get in there and feel. The things I do with the camera woman. Yeah, well, it chased me around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. At least you get to sit down. Yeah, it's cozy in here. There you go. Get a good close up of this reload. I've got a close up. Can be really loud. Look at that reload. Reload. It's just occurred to me that there may be a beam through the center here. I don't know why there would be, but I'm probably cutting straight through that. So I might cut. Can you open the buoyancy cap, like the cap down there and see? Okay, I see. Yeah, it'll be worth cutting that, that square, I think. Huge repair underneath there. So just keep cutting? Yeah, I might just keep cutting. Cool. Mm. 
that's a bit quicker. Alrighty, place your bets. What are we gonna find? Oh. Goes down that way. That's crazy. Alright. That looks like a repair. Alright. I'm gonna get down there. Go back and middle up. Is it? So I climbed down in to just vacuum it all up, but what I'm standing on is not solid. It's squishy. I think we cut the rest of this out. What do you reckon? Yeah. So let's just cut all the way up there and let's give ourselves a lot of room. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Bleep, bleep. I'm just thinking though, if it ends up staying, are we just cutting away? I guess it's too late now. And to repair this, we would have had to do something anyway. Cutting a bit of wood that's that shape should be pretty easy. Mm -mm. And just quickly fiberglassing it on. Yeah. So it's very obvious how this repair was done. He's cut a tiny little hole, poured some resin in, and then just dropped a couple of sheets of fiberglass in, gave him a little little push down, and then that's it. Called it a repair. So that's um, going to be easy to rip out because it's shit. It's going to be easy to fix because we've taken this whole section out now. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. It'll all depend on how good this hull is. Looking at this hull, I can actually see, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but you can see through the fiberglass because it's such a tiny layer of glass and the core looks fine from what I can see. I mean, I, I can't get into the bolster section of it, but the outer layer of ply looks really good. So here it's squishy. I don't know if there's water or just the fiberglass is delaminated off. Um, see a bit of mold there. I don't know what that is. But, I think that's exciting. It's not even, that's raw fiberglass. It's like, it's, there's not even any resin in that. But I can see here where something's penetrated through the boat. I reckon they've hit something. And maybe this was just a quick temporary fix. Who knows? But interestingly, I can see the floor line through here. See the screws pointing out here? Mm -hmm. So that's where your floor line goes, which oh, can yeah. be dropped down even further if we wanted to, because the hull starts to get narrow about here. Mm -hmm. So that'll be... If you, if you just want standing room for a shower, mm -hmm. more than enough down there. All right. I think it's just a matter of deciding how, how meticulous we want to be. You know, we want everything to be safe. But when there's areas that are like they're structurally good, they just don't look pretty. What do we just leave them? Do we? I don't know. Who knows? Depends what the function of it will be. Exactly. All I know is that's really good for someone like Henry to get in, have a look at what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Hear that, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you, Henry. Cool. So if we wanted to, we could strip this thing bare. I, I think we'll leave it in case we want to keep it. But I can see there's a good um, bit of timber that's stuck on the hull here that, the, that this sits on. So I'm, I'm going to leave that there in case we want to use that. And I don't want to be cutting into this bit of glass because I don't want it to pull away this layer of glass. So let's leave that there for now. I just went and chatted to Ken, who's like the main dude here. He built cats for 40 years. He knows his shit. So he's come on um, and had a look at our boat for us because he's heard us cutting and he was kind of... 
So we've had a chat to Ken. Um, he seems to think a lot of this stuff's super easy. He's given us a number for a surveyor who we're gonna to get to come out and look at the boat, make sure we're not cutting anything that's too structural. So we're super keen. We really wanna start cutting and ripping and, and fixing. Like we wanna actually get this, this whole process happening so you guys can see more than just us doing a little few cuts here and there. So, but we just, we really need someone who knows what they're talking about to give us the go ahead and to give us a final yes or no. And you know, everyone who comes down that we're not actually paying, it's hard because they don't want to give us, say, they don't want to say, yeah, rip that out. Because if, if we rip that out and then the boat collapses, well, no one wants that responsibility. So it'll be good to get a proper surveyor down here to tell us what we can and can't do. So after that, it'll be all systems go and we'll be ready. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.